from our Stars and Dogs segment, it's time for this week's Star. Star. Because here's a quality business that we put in our portfolio and recommended this year to clients, recommended, I recommended it the Outlook this year. Uh, the stock is up 50% since that time. The company is called Dynacore Gold Mines. We already touched on it. DNG on the TSX. 270, I believe it closed today. About $105 million market cap. Dividend yield is 2.34%. Why is it a star? Well, it's up 15% this month, 50% this year, not including that strong dividend. What does Dynacore do? Well, they have a simple business model. The company purchases oil, oil, (laughs) or likely, from small-scale miners or artisanal miners across Peru, processes it at its Veta Dorada mill, and sells the extracted gold and silver on the market. As a result, the profitability of this business really depends on primarily two factors, a margin between the price of ore purchased and the market price of gold. The higher the margin, the better. Throughput, the amount of ore would be number two. The higher throughput, the better. I would add in the higher gold price environment that you can see encourages more uh, artisanal or small-scale miners to bring them that ore, which makes the company more profitable over time. So it does benefit from the price of oil or, sorry, gold going up over time by that methodology. Now, driving the stock price, what is driving it? Dynacore reported record quarterly sales, $40.9 million a net income of about $0.05 cents U.S., $0.06 cents Canadian. That was ahead of their annual guidance. In March, Dynacor initiated the expansion of its Veta Dorada processing plant, which will increase the throughput level from its actual, right now, about 345 tons per day to 430 tons per day. That's a 25% increase. The nameplate capacity, though, it's actually just 300 tons per day, so the increase from the nameplate is 43%. The expansion is scheduled to be completed on time and on budget. Now, you get all this in the company with a great balance sheet. Cash on hand is $17.2 million U.S., as at March 31st, up from 11.9 million at year end 2020, and there's no debt here. So the guidance for this year, the company issued guidance forecasting sales of 150 million US, which would represent 47% year over year growth and net income of 6.9 million, or 18 cents US per share. And as of March 31st, as at the end of its last quarter, Dynacor is slightly ahead of 2021 financial guidance. So great results this week, and the strong share price move make Dynacore our star of the week.